Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again. I want to thank you so very much for stopping on this post. Here we talk about basic human rights for all people. And what I've been given to talk to you about on this Sunday morning, yes, a Sunday morning, is this. How God system failed to the systems of men. How God's system fell to the systems of men. What am I saying? Listen to me. And listen to me if you care. This earth that we live on. And then there's the heavens that they tell us about. We don't really know. But we don't argue because we see something up there. And the things that happen here. The trees. The grass. The rain. The all of the things that happen that we can identify with the senses that we've been given here on earth, we know they happen because of a power that we can't see. And that power apparently is magnificent because all that we do see is real, at least to our senses. And not only that, but we ourselves exist. Now that tells us there is a magnificent power. If a magnificent power was able to do that, you would think that a magnificent power that is able to construct a body with all of these different organs, with all of these different systems, and all of the parts that play a role in the functioning of human physical structure. If a power can do that, do you not think that that power is also able to create a system whereby these creatures that have been created by God can walk from day to day, night to night, moment to moment throughout life, living as wonderful as the trees that grow. And somebody might say, but even nature comes and blows the trees down, but the trees still grow again. And they do the same thing that they were always designed to do. Now, if something under it causes it to lose power or lose strength that ties it down, Hey, it's replaced. And so what am I saying? I'm still saying that even in the midst of the turmoils and the troubles that come, that power that is able to put us together significantly, as far as I am concerned, is able to keep us in harmony. And that which divides us and takes us away from harmony is that which stands against God. Now, what am I basically saying? I'm saying that every individual on the face of the earth wants to live in peace, wants to be prosperous, wants to be joyous and happy want their dreams to come true. Not only that, they want their needs, they want their uh, wants and desires met whenever they want it. That's when they want it met. Not only that, they don't ever want to have to worry about those things that are absolutely essential for survival, like food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, transportation, and benefits of the infrastructure and all that mankind can imagine and do. No, baby, this is God. This is God for me. This is God for you. This is for black people. This is for white people. This is for Chi Asians. This is for Africans. This is for people all over the earth. The old, the young. This is the power of love. This is the power of God saying, this is my system for the human race. Now, anybody got a problem with that? Anybody can beat that? Well, let me tell you. There have been those who said they could. In fact, there's a story that takes us back to the Garden of Eden. There was a voice that came out in the Garden of Eden and said, hey, they said you would surely die, but you won't surely die. So do what I say and disregard what you were taught. And like human beings, given choice, not forced to love God or one another, decided to try the other. And they say this is where we've been all since then, confused, not knowing which way to go deceived like somebody saying this is the truth and someone saying this is an alternative truth and all of a, all of a sudden it's uh, uh, repeated so often until you don't know what's true and you don't know how to decide between the choices unless you are led by something good you're gonna go the other way so I'm saying to you this is what has happened. And so what if the systems of the world that men have said that they could do better than God, what have they done? Let me ask you about uh, 
communism. There are countries that are communist countries. If you don't know what communism is, look it up. So you can maybe have your vision and your mind working together about communism. And I tell you there, in communism, you don't see what I just got through describing. You see pain and suffering. You see people who are really wealthy off, well off, getting over. They're superior to others. You see that in communism, not in God's system. Look, let's look at socialism. Now, they say socialism is a much better system than communism. They say that socialism makes sure that people have better health care. They got better education. They got better this and better that than what? Than communism, they say. Now, you don't know what socialism is. Look it up. Let your eyes and your mind work together. Put an imprint there. It might mean something to you. But whatever it is, you're going to see people suffering. They might not suffer as bad as some other places. At the same time, you're going to see people wealthier than others. You're going to see people benefiting from the system much better than others. And justifyingly so, they say. But that doesn't happen in God's system. Let's look at any other system. Let's look at the systems of the dictators. This is where the one man say, well, we used to have something, some kind of system going on. But I, one man, I can, I and I alone can do it. That's what they're saying. And they got the people of the nation bending and bowing to them. Because they will, what? Cause the greatest harm to them. What's that? Get them out of here. And they're not martyrs for what they were standing up for. They are greedy just like everybody else. And so most of the time they sit down. That's what the world is doing, sitting down. Now, why do you think the world is controlled and manipulated the way it is today? Because people are sitting down for one reason or another. And I don't care how much closer you think you got to God, you're still sitting down. And sitting down means that you're not working for God, but in God's opposition. So here we are in this midst, in this midst. So we find that that doesn't work. Then let's go to capitalism. You know how capitalism is. We say capitalism. Let's spread capitalism and democracy all over the earth. Let's do that. Let's do that. Well, when a democracy decides that it's pushed up against the wall just like anybody else, they will act in the same way, looking for the same outcome as those others. And they do what they have learned to do. And that's force. And when you look at the system, billionaires, billionaires, that's all over the world. Wherever you live, wherever there are people, there's somebody wearing that title. And the pain and suffering is there. All of these systems by mankind designed to do what it's doing. Keep your eyes off God. And where are those who are going to tell you about God's system? They are, if they're not telling you about it, they don't exist. If you're not hearing it, it's because they, are, they aren't there. There's no one there to tell you about God's system. Oh, they tell you about what other people have said about God. They tell you what they've heard and read about God, what they've studied about God, but they can't tell you what God is saying to them to say to you to fix this mess that we're in because they are listening to the ones that they're sitting down to. Fear. And so you have the world that we live in today. God's system. People going to church today, when they go to church, you're going to have couples who are riding to church can't speak to each other as they ride to church. Sit through the message of that day, the singing and the pushing down and falling out if that takes place. And they get back in the car coming right back home and won't have a decency to say anything nice or kind to one another. That tells you the benefit of the system. You say, why are people falling away from the church because time has passed and people are seeing that the church is nothing but a traditional stuff. It has no purpose. It has no genuineness. Look at, look at Donald Trump when he came on the scene in the United States. He started bringing forth the lies that people used to be ashamed of. They say, oh, you know, you can't get away with that. Donald Trump just started saying those lies and people started seeing he was getting away with it. So they stood up and started backing the lies that he, he, that he spoke. Just backing lies, 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 back, backing lies and everything going forward and forward. Now the nation has been choked. It has been attacked by American people who said they had been trained about what? About democracy. They had been trained about a system that works for people who cared a little bit more for one another than the, than the uh, communists or that the socialists or whatever. And you find out, man, no, America is no different than the rest of the world. All the world, all of humankind 
is deceived. But God still is real. And the truth is still alive. All you got to do is walk into it or pull it to you or draw it to you. But get in it and walk accordingly. And you will start seeing some stuff. But seeing it is not to set you back down because you now know what's going on. But to give you the power to stand because that is the power that you know. And as you exemplify that, yes, darkness will come to you for one or two things to destroy you or to be made real by you. And so here we are today talking about this, ladies and gentlemen, talking about God's plan has never failed you. Now, let me show you something else that you might not have paid any attention to. All, all of the ugly stuff that's going on across the globe. You know, you got the earthquakes, the natural stuff. We can't control that as far as we know. But the pain and suffering, the terror and the wars that's being fought, the effort that's made to, uh, uh, to consume and to amass and to take is all over. And you can hear people talking about it all the time, but we're not going to go out there. I just wanted to mention that. In America today, they're talking about Trump and Trumpism and Republican and Democrats at odds with one another and uh, uh, with rhinos and and Democrats arguing about this is too much because uh, I got to protect this interest. All that stuff that's going on, all of it is against God. Every last bit of it is against God. But when you turn on your social media channels where people are discussing what's going on in the world, that's all they're talking about. They in asking another person, what do you think? Well, the world is crazy. What do you think? Well, you think it'd be more crazy tomorrow? Or why don't you think it was as crazy as yesterday? Asking questions like this. What does that mean? What does that justify? What clarity does that bring? Nobody's talking about the answer. And I ask you, why aren't people talking about the answer? Is it because they don't know what the answer is? They don't know what the solution is? Or they're trying to keep you off the solution? Well, I suspect that when a person is coming before you, marching, telling you the truth, and efforts are being made to demoralize that person or to kill that person, then perhaps any message that would bring forth liberation is a message that they are not supposed to be putting out there, that they're supposed to be choking. And since you are not hearing that message, I suggest that you're not hearing that message because the systems of the world that have decided that they wanted to replace God are also replacing the message of God. And when someone comes along and tell you that message, you don't want to pay attention to it because first of all, you're not going to hear it that much. And since you don't hear it that much, you're not going to believe it and you don't have time to believe it because all of that trash is constantly coming at you every day, every night, that constant trash coming at you. And what is the basic solution? Look at all that trash. Stop for a moment. Just stop. Think about all that trash. Now, in the middle of all that trash, what do you think would happen if all of a sudden, on the social media, so, social media news outlets and on the mainstream news outlets, you begin to hear that there's peace, poss possibilities, prosperity, and yay, and it's a simple thing. And you start hearing about it every day. You start hearing about that you can have peace and joy in your life. And you start hearing that your dreams can come true. You start hearing about all of your problems that your health care and your education and your housing and all that stuff can be resolved. And you start hearing that it's a simple matter because all it will require is that you, the people who benefit from this, play a part in the process of creating the goods and services that will be used to satisfy your wants, your needs, and your desires. And the, one, the, the careers that you have chosen are the ones they give you your greatest joy and as long as the resources are here as long as the needs the wants and desires exist within us and the gifts that enables us to call forth from those resources a manifestation of our dreams my god how can we lose you think people want you to hear that message why aren't they telling you that every day every night why aren't they telling you that you'd forget about trump you forget about all that ugliness you forget about all that racism. You forget about all that hatred and bigotry. You forget about the lying and cheating instead of why? Because your mind will begin a new a regeneration of what life is truly about. But you don't hear that. You don't hear that. Why? Because you're living outside of God. And I just want to tell you that. I was thinking about going to church today to talk about that stuff. But something told me I'd do better today by sharing this moment with you. And I want to thank you for clicking in giving me this opportunity and I hope it has been as beneficial to you for you as it has been to me for me.
Until next time, Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate, God says goodbye for now.